Here are seven light dark monsters you're probably not picking, but you could be picking if you want to win more in RTA. One of those units most casual players consider a storage unit, but it's actually really good versus fast, aggressive turn cycle teams that require a lot of turns to beat you, but not necessarily a lot of damage per turn. He's very effective versus more Diana, Oliver, which is very popular this season, and many more. However, suffers severely once your opponent has immunity on the field. One of the best things about him is that all you need is the spare runes with good tankiness, accuracy, and resistance, and you're good to go. Throw in some additional damage and reduced damage artifacts, and he's even better. If you think double and triple revenge Vertiheal is toxic, you've never encountered a triple revenge Aria. Most people forget her first skill increases her attack age, so when she revenges, she increases her attack age just like Vertiheal would, steals a turn, and AoE sleeps the entire enemy team. Not always the best pick, but a strong counter when your opponent is bringing in AoE control units. Another unit casual players just don't build and don't know what he does, even though he's a fantastic anti-cleave unit, in some cases he can even be a must-ban pick. Magnum should be built full damage and you don't have to worry about speed because when the opponent Bastet or Draco buffs their team, he will increase his attack age, cut in, steal a turn, and snipe out their damage dealer. His weakness though is that if you try to use him against Wusa and tanks, he will steal a turn but lack the damage to one-shot something, since he really can't one-shot tanks unless he has more setup. While a good Shren does require a lot of rune efficiency, she has a lot more potential than people give her credit for. Not only does she ignore defense snipe through many units, but she also provides sustain every time she gets a turn. A great Shren is still susceptible to crowd control though, and requires a lot of rune efficiency since she needs speed, attack, crit rate, and crit damage. She also needs HP and defense since even though she's a damage dealer, she works best in mid-range teams. When you're drafting units for flexibility in a comp, Bella has it all. She has a strip, defense break, attack age decrease, attack age increase, which turn cycles herself with skill 2, and the full team with skill 3, as well as a full team heal. While Bella doesn't do crazy damage or clickbait nonsense, many people don't think about picking it. However, Bella allows very flexible comps and playstyle, as well as an assortment of rune flexibility. Swift, violent, Nemesis, there's multiple ways to play Bella and multiple draft styles she can fit into. Years ago, I learned the hard way that a fast, tanky, high resistance Valyria can be an absolute nightmare against control teams. Not only does she heal and shield every single turn, but she can also transfer all of the harmful effects onto the enemies, which can be a nightmare for an enemy if they're picking Hathor, Rika, Gianna, or many other strong debuffers. She even has some viability on Nemesis as well. And last but not least, an absolutely great unit and something I love to play with. At his core, he is a bomber which provides ignored defense bombs, which are great against kinky abusers, as well as many, many other things, but also provides stuns, attack age reduction with skill 3, turn cycles himself with skill 2, so he provides damage, control, and self-cycling, which, as we've seen with Diana, Vertiheal, and Oliver, is very, very toxic. He also doesn't need crit rate or crit damage, which helps with rune requirements, and maximizing your efficiency. You can play him either as an aggressive damage dealer mostly, or control first with skill 3, and between his skills 2 and 3, he has a lot of turn denial for the opponents because the bombs stun, as well as a multi-hit skill 1, which benefits from additional damage artifacts. That's it for this one, guys. Let me know what LD units you like in the comments below, and I will see you as always in the next one.